Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. I'm out here in Middletown, Shelbyville Road, at the Block Gourmet Deli. I'm going to explain why I'm here in just a minute, but before I do, I want everybody that likes my content, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and leave comments in the comment section if you like what you're hearing. All right, so before I get going on why I'm here, I also need to do a couple shout outs. Bill North, faithful and true, sent me another $25, and former Portlandite, JB from 26 and Round threw me a saw buck, $10. By the way, JB, Curtis's Market is about ready to open on 28th and Duncan. About ready to reopen. It's been shut down. Okay, also get the merch. Got the double snapping turtle merch out. Sizes small through 5X. Big boy sizes are in. And I'm working on a project right now. I've already started it. My top five fried chicken joints in Louisville. So stay tuned for that. I've already started. The National Treasure, Sam Stallings, is going to be in on some of them and other people. Okay, business at hand. I see on Facebook when people ask, where's the best Reuben in Louisville? People get smart on there and they say, oh, there are none. You got to go to Shapiro's in Indy or Cat's Deli in New York City. Okay, well, I've been to both of those places. I've also had some good Reubens here in Louisville, Kentucky. Not saying they're as good as Shapiro's or Cats, but I'm gonna show you today whether or not we're working with the best Reuben in Louisville that might even compare to Shapiro's or Cats. But we're gonna go in and check it out. I can tell you this much, the owner of this deli is from New York and he's Jewish. He knows his way around a Jewish deli and that's where he learned his craft. So we're gonna go in and see what we can get See if it's comparable. I've got a regular customer here just coming out. I just want to ask him what he thinks about this place. What's your name? My name is Mr. Patel, Neil Patel. He's the blog. He's Mr. Brian, my friend. And he's a very good sandwich and very good soup. It's very, mashallah, is very good. Okay. Taste is good. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. And also, this uh, gentleman owns the Shelby Station Beverage Shop, which is in the same strip center here. So shop local, support local, and if you're in this area, stop in and get your adult beverages at Shelby Station. Thank you, sir. Thanks, have a good day. You too. Okay, before I get going, show you around the place. I have already reviewed this place once before when I spotlighted their Italian Chicago beef sandwich. They got the Boar's Heads, Heads meats, as you saw on the truck outside that was just delivering, but they cure their own corned beef, pastrami, and of course, every now and then they have that Italian beef sandwich. But look at all the different meats you can get here. Oh yeah, mortadella. I might end up getting a mortadella sandwich for dessert before I leave here. You don't see mortadella very often in delis. Not often at all. And then you got your choice of drinks over here. And while I'm thinking about it, I mentioned that the owner, Brian, grew up in New York. I was wrong. He didn't grow up in New York. He grew up in Texas, but went to New York for culinary school, which is actually even better. So he learned his craft up there where everybody claims to get the best corned beef, pastrami, and Rubens and all that. So I put my trust in Brian. Oh. Extra napkins necessary. Thank you. All right, before I get started, I want to get warmed up with a little of this chili. 
Look at that steam rolling off of it. See, it's got black beans, tomato, onion. All right. Man, it's hot. Mmm. It's got a rich, hearty flavor to it. I can tell they weren't scared to put a little chili powder in there. I can taste that. It's not hot, like heat level hot, but very spicy. Mmm. But y'all know, I can take care of that heat level. Always travel with grace. Very good, even without the grace, but you know how I like to accentuate. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's some good chili. Now let me show you how us fat guys do it. Stretch it out, make it make it last longer. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, I am going to be doing a review with my buddy Sean Roddy. Y'all might have saw that Mr. Gaddy's video the other day with Ryan and Jay. And I introduced y'all to French dressing and bacon bits on pizza. Well, my buddy Sean Roddy is going to go with me to one of the original Mr. Gaddy's around here that's been family owned since the early 80s out in Shepherdsville. And I'm going to let him show you in person how it's done. All right. I'm going to work on this chili. Man, look at that. This is just steam rolling. All right, be back in a minute. We'll start on this Reuben. So now a word from my sponsor. Shop secondhand first with Peddler's Mall. New products are added daily by our vendors. Vintage, antiques, uniques, furniture, clothing, collectibles, crafts, gifts, oddities, home decor, and more. Hundreds of vendors in every location. You never know what you will find. Interested in becoming a vendor? Contact us today. 18 locations across Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, and West Virginia. Open seven days a week. I want to show you, I haven't broke it open yet, but they have a digital scale here. I was just curious because I felt it. I knew it was at least a pound. So that's actually one and a quarter pounds. So if you're wondering if there's any meat on this thing. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, it's got the good rye swirl bread, which, you know, has the regular rye pumpernickel swirled in there. Wrapped up tight. So if they didn't wrap it up like that, say if they just put it on a plate, it would have looked even bigger than what it looks like now. So compact okay I'm not even gonna put mustard on it or anything I think it's got some Russian dressing and sauerkraut on it so I'm gonna eat it as is mmm okay I've been to Cat's Deli and Shapiro's, like I said. The only difference is here on this is you're not paying $27 for it, okay? You saw the scale. Scale doesn't lie. It's got over a pound of meat on it. The only downside is they only have this every other week. You got to call ahead and find out what day they're having the corned beef. They'll like have it like for a day or two every other week. So you're going to have to get on, uh, on the website and uh, call and see when they're going to have it. Otherwise, I'd, I'd be here probably three days a week eating this thing. Mm.
Wash it down with a little diet. And they also carry the, the Voodoo, the Zappos Voodoo chips. In my opinion, the best chips. Great accompaniment with any sandwich. Okay. So now we're, we're the comparison between like a Cats and a Shapiro's. I challenge anybody that's been here and had this Reuben and or had the Reubens all over the city and I want you to tell me where there's a better Reuben than what you can get right here. That's my challenge to you because I don't think you're going to find any. I've been to all of them. I've been to Good Belly and Good Belly's great. It's a Jewish style deli but you're not going to get a sandwich with uh meat like that on it and it's got it's it's similar quality because good belly does the 28 day process of brining and all that well they brine their own corned beef and pastrami here also so you're getting the same quality you're just getting more of it hey farah yeah how much is the reuben here uh let me double check mary 13.25 did you hear that 13.25 before tax i believe at good belly and i'm not saying it's a bad deal Good Belly, you're going to pay $16.99, I believe, is what I paid there. So, same quality, except for more of it and less money. So, how are you going to beat that? So, come on, haters. Get in that comment section and tell me where I can go and get better than this. I almost forgot. I forgot to order a pickle. How do you eat a Reuben without a pickle? And the young man behind me slicing up my next sandwich, he says, eating a corned beef Reuben without a kosher dill pickle is like having cookies without the cold milk. He hit the nail right on the head. Mm. Good and crunchy. That's a good kosher dill. Appreciate it. All righty. Now a word from my sponsor. Welcome to Billy Bob's Barbecue and Amish Deli. It's a little country store with a whole lot to offer, so let's go in and see what they got. They've got homemade Amish jellies, pickles, jams, and honey and sorghum. They've got local Amish-made lunch meats and cheeses. And don't forget the award-winning Kansas City Gourmet Barbecue. Y'all don't know nothing about this Amish liver cheese and homemade sourdough bread. And don't forget about the homemade Amish fried apple pie. Just a 30 minute drive outside Louisville. It's veteran owned. And y'all don't know nothing about this Billy Bob's barbecue and Amish deli. This is going to be my swan song, so to speak. And I've got the side, a small side menu uh, of this paprika potato salad. Get the other half of my pickle there. All right, so you might have saw the Red Hog Restaurant and Butcher review I did recently. And I was talking about the mortadella bologna that you get. The Italian bologna has the fat chunks in it. Italian meat special. This is our in-house mortadella. It's a pistachio and black peppercorn mortadella. I love that mortadella. Those big fat chunks. Yeah. Love it. Can't get enough fat. <laughs> mm. So here at the block, you can get any kind of sandwich you want. So and you, if it goes in between two pieces of bread, they said, they'll make it. So as you see, I got the mortadella. See the fat chunks in there? And I got provolone cheese. You know, being that I'm eating an Italian bologna sandwich, we're going to get the Italian cheese with that provolone. And it's got some nice, good quality, oversized white bread that's slightly toasted. All right. 
Lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, spicy mustard. And I like how they put some of the fixings on the top half and some on the bottom. That way you don't get a bunch of fixings just sliding off. Mm. Speaking of fixings, I like how they serve it to you on this butcher paper. And you could lay it out all wide, but the, I like how when the fixings come off, it's big enough that you can get your fixings off that paper. You got enough room, you can save the fixings that fly off of it. Mm. Ain't nothing like mortadella. If you're a bologna lover, you owe it to yourself. Come here, if not for the Reuben, for this mortadella Italian bologna sandwich. All right, try this paprika potato salad now. Even though it's got the paprika mixed in there, it's got a nice spice to it, but it's not like heat level spice. Mmm. I can taste it's got mayonnaise, onion. Mmm. Very tasty. Perfect accompaniment with this bologna sandwich. All right. I'm starting to wind things down. I'm not even going to front. I did save half that Reuben for my wife when she gets home because I always eat everything when I'm here and she gets mad at me because I never bring her leftovers from here. Mm. My recommendation when you come here, of course, time it where you can get the Reuben. Bring somebody else so you can split it with somebody and get this mortadella provolone sandwich, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle with spicy mustard. You won't regret it. All their sides are terrific. Everything's homemade, and I mean everything. Homemade, in-house. Brian, nicknamed Chef. There's a reason why they call him that. As I said, he learned his trade culinary school, New York. All right, so you heard it here. If there's a better Reuben here in Louisville, Kentucky, put it in the comment section. I'll look into it. But I've already had just about all the Reubens I can think of in Louisville. And you ain't going to beat this one. And y'all don't know nothing about this block gourmet deli. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Good Country Kitchen.